where we stand with the NBA as we head into Christmas. Um, yeah, it, it, it's been crazy. I'll tell you that much. Steph Curry broke the uh, all-time freeze record in MSG, Madison Square Garden, against the Knicks about a few weeks back. You know, the Suns and the Warriors have had some absolute bangers. In early in late November and early December, they will clash again Christmas Day. We know that much. Um, COVID has ran rampant on the league so bad that there's teams signing 10-day players and stuff like that. Like, it, it's gotten so bad to where my Mavs are signing a 10-day player. Luka Doncic is out um, with COVID and stuff like that. So, I mean, everything's crazy. You know, with the Omicron and Delta variants or whatever they call them nowadays, you know, things... Just haven't been that good. Things have not been that good. Nets are leading the way in the East, and the Suns and Warriors are battling it out in the West, you know, with the Jazz right behind them. But really, it's the Suns and Warriors race from one and two at this time. Um, West still looks a bit more, you know, balanced as usual. Um, East has some really bad teams like the Magic and Pistons. I don't know what's going on there. Um, you know, the Nets have been doing well, like, like, even though, you know, all of the guys, you know, Kyrie, you know, Kyrie Irving's been pretty much out the entire season, basically, because of, you know, his stance on COVID, you know, Kevin Durant, I mean, everybody, you know, is just, you know, it's been a crazy time for Nets fans, I'll tell you that much, it's been a crazy time, um, the Suns really have surprised me so far. They've really surprised me. Um, Devin Booker should be coming back, you know, um, and everything like that. You know, like DeAndre Ayton's been playing well. You know, Chris Paul still Chris Paul. I mean, this is again, this is the this is pretty much the same Suns team from last year, um, you know, and everything like that. This is pretty much the same Suns team that went to the finals and got it and. Almost got it done. Almost. Just close enough. Um, LeBron is still playing like LeBron James. I mean, what can you say about that? I mean, he's LeBron James. <laughs> you know, he does what he does best. Of course, you know, he's got a lot of guys around him now. You know, the old. The, I mean, the Lakers are old. I mean, you know, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, Dwight Howard. I mean, Rajon Rondo. I mean, I mean, it's just a... It's a talented roster, but these guys are, they're getting on up there in age, you know, but they, they're still doing their best, I can tell you that much, I can tell you that, um, and the Lakers, you know, they're at 500 right now as it stands, um, again, just haven't really been doing too much, you know, the Lakers haven't, you know, they're playing the Nets on Christmas Day, and, you know, that is going to be interesting, um, Utah's also playing Dallas, uh, Milwaukee, you know, with Giannis is taking on the Bucks. You know, that's going to be intriguing there. Um, and the Hawks, you know, Hawks are playing the Knicks in the early window. So it's going to be a stacked Christmas Day slate, I'll tell you that much. Um, and I'm not sure because, I mean, the Hawks, you know, they've, they've really, really haven't done too much. I mean... You know, it is what it is. I mean, they they they're doing they're doing all right, but they're not. It, it, I mean, it's still kind of early. You know, thirty we're about thirty games into the season, so you know it's still kind of early to tell. You know, and everything, so we don't know. You know, everything like that. So you know, I'm not sure. You know, about Trey Young right now. You know, if he's even playing or not, because I mean, again, everything has gone completely wrong with, you know, Omicron and Delta and whatever new variant comes up next. You know, so everything's just gone completely wrong with that. Um, so, you know, there's games getting canceled or postponed left and right. And it's just, it's just crazy. It's just unspeakable at this point, you know, that we're going back to 2020 type deals around here. And I'm just a bit more surprised than anything because, I mean, I thought, you know, players would have it a little bit better than what they have, you know, but, you know, obviously we're going to have to do something with these new variants, you know, new vaccinations and stuff like that need to come on up, and, 
get your shots when you can and everything like that. And I hope everybody enjoys this NBA slate. Um, I don't really have any predictions or anything like that. I'm just speaking my mind on some things because, I mean, there's been a lot of things that have happened. You know, again, with the NBA over the past few weeks especially. You know, I mean, the Suns and the Warriors were... I mean, like, yeah, those two games that... You know, I think these are the only, these are the only games, you know that I'd seen prior to the December 11th in which the 76ers of all teams held the Warriors to their lowest point total of the season, which was insane to me. Like, and I, I was just really surprised at, at the 76ers, you know, um, in, in, in that game a couple weeks back, you know. So, um, it's, it, again, it's going to be an interesting, you know, ride rest of the way because we still got, you know, the... It, we still got the NFL, you know, doing their thing, you know, and I mean, it's going to take up a lot more time. So, you know, then, you know, talk about the NBA every week. So uh, as far as the NBA goes, I'll be back with talking about the NBA around the All-Star break. Um, or it, it might be MLK Day, though. I might do another video around MLK Day because, I mean, MLK Day is an important day. So might do a video then um and then you know as far as um yeah so nba videos are infrequent as hell on this channel anyway so you know there will be you know an mlk video a all-star break video and then um you know see you in the later stages of the season you know like a couple videos so that that's just gonna be my plan for that so for the NBA so there will be like one or two random videos here and then you know one last video in April before the playoffs you know stuff like that so and then you know talk about playoffs and then boom there you go so that's just my plan with the NBA um, I'm not gonna watch a lot of NBA games of course you know there may be about 30 to 40 games this year as usual already watched about five including opening night um that that um that saturday game i just mentioned with the 76s and warriors and then those two warrior suns games so <laughs> game three between the warriors and suns on christmas probably gonna be the best game of today no doubt so for all of you that are watching and are fans of the nba i hope you stick around for other content because there's other content on the channel that I give a lot more time to than the NBA. I'm just the filthy casual of the NBA now, in all honesty, and I've said that for a couple years now. So, in any case, see you again tomorrow to talk about the NFL. We'll talk about Week 16 and everything, and yeah, go from there. See you. See you soon.